I'm in Texas now. I made it to Amarillo, Texas. I actually drove kind of through the night uh, once I left Arizona through New Mexico. And when you come into the Amarillo, Texas area, you always have to stop at this amazing place. So this is Cadillac Ranch. And it's kind of, uh, you kind of need, everybody kind of needs to see this coming through. I guess it's right off of Route 66, definitely right off of I-40. It's been about five years or so since I've been here and things have changed a lot. Uh, there's now this lake of muddy water all around these cars. They kind of stack up uh, sticks and, and corn and hay and grass to, to make little trails to get out to the cars. It's interesting and graffiti is encouraged here. You can come here and actually there's a guy who sells cans of spray paint. You can buy it and put your name on here and do whatever you want. Uh, unfortunately that creates a heck of a lot of garbage everywhere. Even the ground is spray painted. People have left this place unscathed. <laughs> Even the corn is colorful here. It's hilarious. It's amazing how thick this paint is. I can't get it. It's like wax. Look at this. Look how thick this is. <laughs> yeah, definitely things have changed since I was here. For one, this one had a roof on it. You couldn't get in here like this years ago, but now you can actually stand inside the car. <laughs> So if you're going to come here, if you're planning to come to Cadillac Ranch, bring some boots because it's always pretty muddy here. Look at this Volkswagen bus. I love these things. So check it out. I'm still in Amarillo. I'm at the Jack Sizemore RV Museum. This is amazing. You got to see some of these. Look at this, a 1955 Airstream. The his and hers in the back. That's how they did it in 1955. Look at this old refrigerator. Look at this. Old Whirlpool. Look at that. Amazing. Crazy. Look at this beast. Look at this. This is what they look like in 1974. It's in beautiful, they're in beautiful shape. All these are in beautiful shape. This is the little bathroom here. Oh, it's got a shower too. Wow. This is awesome. This is a 66 Ken scale. Whoa. Look at that little bathroom. They're really not that different than the modern ones. Obviously, Materials are very, very different. Look at this bus. That is amazing. How cool is this? 
Wow. This is different. So you have the desk here. The dinette is here. And then these couches. This probably becomes a big bed. Look at that driver's seat. Look at the shift box. 1941 Westcraft. There's a jukebox in here. Like, who couldn't just hang out in these chairs? 1941. Here's the bedroom in the back. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm getting back on the road. has deteriorated worse and worse now I hope I, I don't even know if this I have three three more miles to go 2.4 actually miles to go so I hope this is the location I'm looking for your destination will be on the left all right I think this is it oh wow it is I found it Yes, look at this, the castaway house. So check it out, they still have the, uh, the wings on the sign. A lot of you might remember that in the beginning of the movie, the sign says Dick and Bettina and then at the end of the movie, she had removed Dick's name, so it just said Bettina had a gap there. Tom Hanks, at the end, goes up to the house, and he's knocking on the door, and he's yelling, FedEx! FedEx! And he writes, how it saved the box, how the package saved his life, and he puts it in the door right there. Right there. All right, so I literally just left the castaway house, and I have to show you something. All the, the whole time I've been driving Texas, I keep passing these what look like spiders on the road, and I was like, how could they be spiders? Because they're so big. And I finally pass one, and here it is. Look at the size of this spider. He's actually missing a leg. Look at this thing. Look how big it is compared to my hand. He's actually, yeah, he's missing a leg. Get off the road, little guy. Big guy. So I've made it to the Four Corners. This is the famous Four Corners that Tom Hanks stops at at the end of Castaway. All right, so I'm on top of my camper right now so I can get this shot. This is the, this, uh, there's a shot of this in the beginning with the FedEx truck and then also in the, uh, at the end. So you can see the stop sign on the right and you can see the two poles lost. I do? Where are you headed? 
Well, I was just about to figure that out. So in the movie, when she's driving away and Tom Hanks kind of turns and looks down this road at her, you can see those telephone poles very plainly in the shot. pretty cool. I've been here for about maybe 40 minutes and I think one car has passed. So it's that rural of an area, but it's, it's incredible. It's beautiful being out here. Beautiful weather. Look at that. It's starting to get a beautiful sunset out here, but that's my cue to go and find some civilization and some place to stay tonight. So the next time you see me, I will be in Oklahoma. I'll probably cross over the border either tonight or tomorrow morning. So see you guys in the next video.